deadline. We want to make sure that everyone uh, gets up to date on it and, and in time. And we're going to go ahead and uh, get started here. I want to go ahead and thank our partner, Cairo Touch, and David Yaldizian. He's the VP of Sales uh, for presenting this morning. Always doing a great job. And um, want to kind of get a couple of house cleaning items out of the way just so everyone knows. We will be recording this webinar. If anyone at any time needs to leave early, that's perfectly fine. We'll go ahead and send an email out to anyone that's attended, um, as well as anyone that may be registered that you know was not able to attend uh, with the recording of this webinar. Um, throughout the webinar, feel free to also type in any kind of questions in the question answer module. I will go ahead and keep track of those while David is presenting. And at the end of the webinar, we'll leave some room open for some questions and answers. And he'll go ahead and answer any of your questions there. So feel free to go ahead and type them out, and um, I'll keep track of them. We'll go through them towards the end. Um, so again, if anyone's having any kind of issues, feel free to go ahead. If it's anything, it's staticky. If you can't hear too well, um, feel free to go ahead and log back in, or you can give us a call at 1-800-IMATRIX. One of our support staff will go ahead and help you out and get you logged back in. Um, so without further ado, I'll go ahead and take it, uh, give it over to uh, David, who's going to go ahead and present for us. Thanks again. All right. Welcome, everybody. My name is David. I'm the VP of Sales here at Cairo Touch Practice Management Software. And this morning what we're going to be taking a look at is a little bit more about the EHR program. First off, I want to thank Cairo Matrix for hosting us today. Uh, we have a great partnership with Cairo Matrix. We've been with Cairo Matrix for many years. There's things inside of our software that uh, talk to things inside of their software. So it's a great integration between the internet your website and software. Um, what we want to do today is really concentrate on the stimulus program because this is a really big deal right now. A lot of people have been talking about it for a couple years and the program's coming to an end very soon. When I say the program's coming to an end, the stimulus program is coming to an end. EHR is just beginning. EHR is not coming to an end. This is just the stimulus portion of it. So you can kind of see here from my from my opening slide, this is your last chance, really. There's been talk about other deadlines this year. That was the penalty deadline. If you have not adopted EHR and you guys are, are not using EHR right now and you're seeing Medicare patients, uh, there will be fines on your 2015 billing, and it's going to be 1% for EHR. So what this deadline is, what we're talking about here, is the end of the stimulus portion. To offset that little fine of 1%, you can still get a part or take part in the stimulus program, and the stimulus level is 75%. And that's something that we're going to be talking about today. We're going to go through that. We're going to take a look at what that means. So as you can kind of see here on the, on the logo, um, $123 million has gone back into chiropractic. That's a real number. That's from Medicare. And 10,253 DCs have participated. So let that sink in for a second. 10,253 chiropractors have participated in this program. And because they have $123 million and counting, is going back, has gone back into their, into their practices and, and gone back into chiropractic. This is an easy program. This is putting data into an EHR software. A lot of the data that you're collecting right now on paper so we're going to explore this. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see and talk about some of the things that are, are built inside of this program, uh, the facts of the program, how it works. We're going to take a look at some of the myths, some of the things that people have been talking about, some of the things that um, people have been worried about. And we're going to compare those to what's really happened inside of this program. We're going to talk about what to expect for stimulus. So if you're seeing Medicare patients and you're you're interested in getting some of the stimulus money, or you're not seeing any Medicare patients and you want to know what that means for your office, um, we're going to take a look at that. We're going to take a look at how to make it easy to adopt EHR, and then we're going to go through and we're going to take a look at some action items, and then we're going to close the webinar down and turn it back over to Kyra Matrix. All right, well, let's go ahead and jump in. Let's take a look at some facts versus myths. So the first fact, let's go into just how the program got started. Um, this is a part of the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act. This got started in 2009. Uh, this program is not the Affordable Care Act or, or, or Bontla Care. 
I know we've talked to a lot of doctors who say, I don't want anything to do with Obamacare. Great. This program is not Obamacare. This is a stimulus program from 2009. Um, and this has been in place, and it's going to continue along uh, for all the way through into 2020. So we're going to take a look at what this, um, this ARA program means, the stimulus portion of it, and then moving forward. Um, what this program is about is demonstrating meaningful use of a certified EHR. That's all this is. This is buying an EHR system, putting it in your office, demonstrating that you know how to use it, that you're using it in a meaningful way, and then the way that you're going to do that is by collecting patient data, such as idols, meds, allergies, etc. So you're going to adopt the CHR system. You're going to collect data. This is data, most of the data that you're already collecting anyway for your patients. And then you're going to attest. You're going to send that off to Medicare and CMS so that they can see that you've done that. Based on how much Medicare you see, you'll receive a stimulus. So this data looks like this. It's, there's 25 measures total. 15 of these are compulsory or mandatory. 10 of these are menu measures. And these measures are just, they're just what we call the data that you're putting in. So you're going to have uh, 25 of these different data points or these measures. Uh, the good news is, as chiropractors, you're exempted from a lot of these. So when you boil this down, instead of 25, you're really looking at about 18 total measures, 18 data points. Um, you're going to collect this data at specific thresholds for all of your patients. And you're going to collect it for a period of time. So if you guys are going to take part in this program, you need to start putting this data in no later than October 1st. And you'll finish up 90 days later. If you adopt this this year, you get stimulus money. You're going to be eligible for what's called a stimulus. It's a way that they're offsetting the cost of adopting EHR. They're bumping up your insurance payments. or your, They're bumping up your insurance collections. So a lot of us that have been saying over the years, yeah, they keep paying us smaller and smaller amounts, this is a way to offset all of that because this is 75% of your insurance claims for Medicare. If you don't adopt this by this year, that doesn't mean it goes away. It just means that you don't receive any of the stimulus money. You'll still be required now to adopt this, but instead of receiving a stimulus, you're just going to receive penalties until you adopt it. So you have to make a decision. This is it. This is the end. It's coming up. Are you going to get paid to adopt EHR, or are you going to have to pay for it? And for those 10,000 and, and counting, those chiropractors that have already adopted it, they got paid to adopt EHR. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the next slide here. Let's take a look at some more, more of the facts. Let's dig into that, that stimulus part of this a little bit deeper. So this is how it works. 75% of the Medicare collections um, are, are, are eligible for stimulus. So if you see $10,000 in collections from Medicare, that means your stimulus is $7,500. So you're just thinking of this as instead of getting paid and having all my insurance claims diminish, I'm not receiving as much, this is a way to offset all of that. You're going to get 75% for stimulus just simply for getting this EHR system. So it's a very easy way to do it. It's on three codes that they're looking at, 98940, 1, and 2. So those are your adjustment codes. Part B claims. 10,000 in collections equals $7,500 in stimulus. Data collection is, is there for all patients. So when you're doing this reporting, you're doing this for all your patients. You're putting in these data points. Um, none of the data that you're putting in is identifying data to the government. So you're not sending patients' names. You're not sending them. Uh, patients' uh, information for the demographics, you know, sending them phone numbers or addresses. All you're simply sending is statistics. You're sending patient statistics, uh, numerators and denominators. So there's no identifying data. You're sending them numbers. You're saying 55 out of 100 patients have this or do this or receive this. That's all you're saying. So there's no identifying data that's going. It's simply numerators and denominators. And this is the way that it breaks down for penalties. 2015 penalties were already assessed. So when I opened up this webinar, I mentioned if you're seeing Medicare and you haven't participated in EHR yet, um, that July deadline that we were talking about last time we were on this webinar is passed. So there's a fine there that's going to be on your Medicare collections of 1%. You can offset that by getting EHR, which is 75%. 
or you continue on and you can get penalized. If you don't get started by this year, you'll know that if you adopt EHR, you're going to have to pay for it to offset those penalties. The penalties look like this. Um, they're going to augment 1% each year to max out at 5. So by 2020, you'll have 5% if you're still not on EHR. Uh, there's another thing out there called PQRS, which also um, will incur a fine. So if you're not doing PQRS, which is the Physician's Quality Reporting System, uh, this is simply just saying, here's the, here's the codes. They're G codes. I'm doing functional outcome assessments for my patients. Um, if you're not putting those codes in, then there's a fine for that. So this year it's 1.5, and next year it's going to max out at 2%. So by 2020, if you're not on EHR and doing functional outcome assessments through PQRS, you're looking at a 7% penalty on your collection. And that adds up. It's going to start to add up. It's going to start to chip away at those collections. So what happens if you get started now? You get that stimulus. You get that 75% to offset those penalties. Let's take a look at some other facts here. I mentioned earlier that this started. This was started in 2009. So this isn't a Johnny-come-lately program. This is tried, tested, and true. Um, in 2011, the first incentives began. Uh, this is when folks were receiving bigger checks. And then we went into um, you know, 2014, where they released a new version of the program called Phase 2. So if you've participated in this a couple times, um, they've just augmented the program a little bit. They've, uh, they've changed it. They've changed some of the measures to make it easier. Um, 2014, you have two deadline and you have paths that are different. So if you've participated before, there's some you know, different deadlines. And if you haven't participated, right now this webinar is really talking to the people that have not participated yet. Um, in 2015, all of the, all of the penalties began. And, and that's kind of misleading right there. Because earlier I said, if you didn't start by July of this year, your 2015 penalties are going to kick in. So this is true in that it's your 2015 claims. But if you haven't started this already, uh, for this year, you know that you've already you've already got that 1% fine coming on your Medicare. And then in 2017, all the stimulus distributions will cease. And then 2017, they're going to bring everybody together on one program, which is going to be called Phase 3. So this isn't stopping. This isn't ending in, in the fact that EHR is stopping. It's the stimulus. It's the money. It's the stimulus money to offset the cost of all the penalties and the, and the purchase of the EHR. So this is really the last chance to get paid for EHR. So let's take a look at those payments. Let's take a look at what it means. If you were participating in this program back in 2011, and you participated uh, through five years, ending this year, this would be your last year, you would receive almost $44,000 in stimulus. If you went and started in 2012, and you go through 2016, you do this every year, um, you're looking at almost, again, $44,000 in stimulus. If you started in 2013, you're going to continue this program through 2016. And there was about $38,000 there on the table. This is the last year. If you start this year, uh, there's 12, almost $12,000 in stimulus for this year. And you'll max out at about $23,500 over the next three years. Now, let me ask you guys a question. Do you need to do this program every year? Or can you just do it once and stop and start? The answer to that question is you can just do this program one year, and then you can stop it if you don't want to do it the next year, and then restart it if you want to do it again the, the year after that. Once you start this, there's, there's nothing in, in the rules that say you have to do this every, every year going forward. So a lot of people have that conception of, you know what, I, if I do this, I'm stuck on this thing. I've got to keep doing it. It's not true. There's a lot of people that have done it. They've loved it. It wasn't that difficult because they saw that stimulus check come. And these are pretty, pretty big checks here. These are pretty big numbers, $44,000 going back into a practice, um, $38,000 going back into a, pro, a practice. You, you, for those people that are on the phone that haven't participated yet, there's still $23,520 on the table here that we're talking about. So it's a big number. It's going to impact you. It's going to offset the cost for everything you're doing with EHR plus more. So if there's any other marketing, any other thing, um, changes you want to make to your practice. This is going to this is going to be the money that's going to that's going to help you do that. All right, let's take a look at some of the myths. Maybe these are some reasons why people don't want to participate in the program. When this program came out in 2011, um, you know, people were talking about Big Brother, of course. So you know that was an issue. 
Well, there's no identifying data that's sent to the uh, Medicare. There's more information about your patient in your SOAP note, which is already something that you might have to submit to Medicare. So that really doesn't hold water. This is just, um, this is healthcare. So there's going to be some information that is either in the codes or in the notes that is uh, more identifying that you're already doing than the information in the EHR program. The, inf the e information in the EHR program is just numerators and denominators. So there's, there's no identifying data. Uh, people say this program is going to lead to more audits because if they give you a stimulus, they're going to take it away from you through an audit. And that's not true. We haven't seen that at all. Um, we do know that audits are up all across the board, not just with Medicare, but with insurance. So if you feel like an audit is something that you're worried about, then that's not something that participating in this program is going to change. In fact, participating in this program is going to take you off the red list because they know who is and who is not participating in PQRS. They're finding you. Um, you're getting penalties for PQRS. You're getting penalties for not participating in the EHR. So the opposite could be true. Um, this one, stimulus isn't really coming. This one, is a, this one is a big one, or was a big one back in 2011, because when this program just was getting started, people were saying, you know what, this isn't true. Um, you know, the, the government's going to change. They're going to kill this program. We're not going to see any stimulus money. And we know that over $123 million has been uh, been been given to chiropractic through this program. So we know that the stimulus is coming and it's come in a very big number. Um, stimulus is just a tax write-off. This is another myth. This is a check. You deposit it. You put it in your bank account. If you had you know, a $12,000 check for your stimulus that year, um, you're putting $12,000 into your bank account. Guess what that money is? That money is taxable. So um, this isn't just a tax write-off. This is a tax. This is a check. This is income. This is taxable income. So the stimulus money is something that you'll, you'll get taxed off. OK, so let's take a look at some other myths here. This one is a, a newer one because um, people were saying, hey, you know what? I don't have to do this till 2015 because that's when I'm going to get penalized. And we know that's, that's not exactly true. Yes, it's the 2015 claims that are penalized, but those penalties are assessed now. So if you haven't participated, and you don't want to receive penalties going forward, um, you'll want to get started on this as soon as possible. You'll want to get started because A, you'll receive stimulus money to offset, and B, you won't receive any more penalties as long as you continue to participate. Another myth, delayed with ICD-10 until 2015. So this is another big one. When, when, um, when, when Congress came back and said, hey, we're delaying ICD-10s until 2015, uh, people thought that meant also EHR. So we don't need to do anything with EHR. The program is delayed. I don't need to adopt EHR. That's not true. That's for ICD-10 codes. That's something that goes in your EHR. That's another reason you need EHR if you're not on one. Um, but, but ICD-10 codes are delayed, but EHR is not. This program is still in full swing. All the deadlines are there. You want to make sure that you want to make sure that you're able to avoid those penalties and receive that stimulus money. Um, this is another one. This, this was one that people said, hey, you know what? There's 18 points of data. It's just going to take too long. It's not worth it for me. Well, let's take a closer look at this. Let's think through this one. This is a lot of data that you're already collecting. This is data that the EHR is going to automate for you. And this is a way for you to augment your insurance claims. So instead of getting these diminished penalties, these penalties that are diminishing the, the reimbursement that you're receiving, this is a 75% stimulus. So this is unheard of. This is a stimulus level for 75% of everything you collect from Medicare. So this is definitely worth it. And it doesn't really take too long to do that. If you talk to offices that have been through this with ChiroTouch, there's things inside of our software that make it really easy to populate this data. Most of it's automated anyway. Most of it's data you've already collected on paper. So it makes it really easy. The last one down here, this is probably one that people think this is probably the biggest reason people don't participate is because they don't see enough Medicare to qualify. So people have held off on the program. Um, it's unfortunate because the, long, the early you got started, there was early adopters bonuses that, that bumped up the number. But it's really, you have to take a look at your Medicare. People think that if they're seeing 10 or 15 Medicare patients in a week, 
that's not that much, they're not going to qualify for that much. But that's actually quite a bit. If you're seeing 10 or 15 Medicare patients in a week, when you look at the annual collections, that's going to be a pretty big number because you're receiving 75%. So $10,000 in collections, which is about 10 patients a week, that's, that's about, that's about $7,500 in stimulus money just for one year. So it's, it pro chances are you're probably seeing enough Medicare to qualify. We have a calculator that you can go to. This is, a, this is a screenshot of the calculator. You can put in how many chiropractors there are in your office because each chiropractor qualifies. Then how many Medicare patients you see in a week and, and then what your average Medicare claim is. And then that will give you a total. So there's $24,000 left that's still on the table. If you're seeing 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 patients a week, you're going to hit about 24,000 over the next three years. This year, there's $12,000 on the table, which is going to, which is going to be um, enough to offset the purchase of your EHR. All right, let's take a look at some of the facts. After all those myths, um, you know, big brother and don't see enough Medicare to qualify. The program's been around for three years. Let's take a look and see how things are going. Let's take a look. Um, here's some numbers. These are updated. Um, so these are actually posted numbers from CMS as of the end of June. So these are the most uh, these are the these are the most current numbers. There's 13,886 providers that have participated between 2011 and 2013. That's over $149 million in county that's gone back into chiropractic from those 13,886 providers. Uh, where does ChiroTouch fit in? ChiroTouch has taken more offices through this than any other chiropractic software that's out there. So we've taken over 3,000 offices. Um, our offices, we've estimated, have secured $34 million over the last three years. So if you, if you were with ChiroTouch, um, you probably got stimulus money in some capacity, if it was $10,000 or $12,000 or $24,000 if you participated in the program over a couple of years. So $34 million has gone back into chiropractic through um, all of our clients here at ChiroTouch. So that's a big number. We're proud of that. Um, we've taken more offices through than any other software, and that's because there's things in our software that make it really easy to do. And then, of course, our training and support. And we'll, take a, we'll talk about that a little bit later. Let's take a look. If you're on the line right now or you're watching this at home, think about how many Medicare patients you see in a week. And you can pop them into this calendar or this calculator here, and you can come over to our website and you can do that. So here, here's a look. I'm one chiropractor. I see four Medicare patients a week. And my average collection is $26, which is the national average. So what does that mean for me for stimulus? That means $12,134 $100, over the next three years. That's four grand a year. That offsets my EHR. Now, why did I choose the four, four patients a week number? Because the software is less than that. Because most offices see four Medicare patients a week. It sounds small, but it's not. And the other reason is because that $4,000, if you look at that as $4,000 in an augmentation of your insurance collections, that's still a pretty big number. Because you're looking at penalties. You're looking at penalties not only for EHR, but you're looking at penalties for PQRS. And if you're not on a certified EHR, those penalties are just going to augment every year. So this is going to offset the cost. If you're four patients a week or more, it's going to offset the cost. That's your threshold. If you're less than four patients, then you're not doing EHR uh, for the stimulus program. You're doing EHR for other reasons. Maybe you're a full cash practice. That's okay. There's tons of cash practices that have EHR. But when we're looking at, in terms of the stimulus program, this is your threshold. If you guys are seeing more than four Medicare patients a week, you need to be on a certified EHR. You want to participate because this is going to be a big augmentation to your insurance collections through Medicare, and this is going to help you offset the penalties. This is going to get you paid for your EHR rather than having you have to pay for EHR. All right, let's jump in and take a look at some of the big numbers here for, from Medicare. Um, let's take a look at the entire program. So here's doctors of medicine or osteopathy. Um, let's take a look how many how many providers have, have participated there, about 423,000. Uh, program to date payment amount, they're $5.7 billion. And that's not surprising. I mean, 400, there's a lot more doctors of medicine that are out there. Not, 
and osteopaths. There's there's more than what there is in chiropractic. They see uh, more Medicare patients because they're not specialized. It's just doctors of medicine. Five point seven billion dollars. But let's jump down here to some specialized professions: optometrists and podiatrists. They're participating in the program. How do they compare to chiropractors? Well, chiropractors are here. There's about 13,886 chiropractors that participated, and we know that's about $149 million. Now, let's compare that to podiatrists. Here's a podiatrist. They're specialized, just like chiropractors. Uh, 15,995 podiatrists have seen or have participated in this program, and their, their stimulus is way up at $223 million. So they're, they're right north of chiropractors. Why? Why? Are there more podiatrists? Are there more patients? I don't know. I don't think those numbers really pad out. Are there better so is there better software for podiatrists? No, they don't have ChiroTouch. Um, when we took a look at what the software does for them, they're using just general medicine uh, software. So chiropractors have a specialized software specifically for their EHR, and there's less. It's unfortunate. And then if we take a look at optometrists here, you know, for for optometrists, they have over 21,000 participants and they have over $259 million in stimulus money. So here's where we're at in chiropractic. These are the newest numbers, um, 13,886 chiropractors. We know that there's 60, 65,000 chiropractors out there, maybe 30, 35,000 that should be participating. So the number's low. The number's low, and this is the last little bit, this is the last little bit of, of time that you have to, to get in and get this stimulus before it's gone forever. So let's finish up. Let's close down um, and just kind of wind down here. Just taking a look at those numbers. You know, it's just like if you've ever seen Saturday Night Live where they say, really? On the, on the news and, and they're like, really? This really happened? That's kind of how I felt when I thought that optometrists and podiatrists have, have taken more stimulus money. Uh, chiropractors are a specialized profession. Um, they have a need in the market for, for all sorts of patients, including Medicare patients. Baby boomers are coming down the pipeline more than ever. And we're not there. Chiropractors aren't there. We're, we're the last on the list. And so I just wanted to ask that question. What do those professions have that we don't? Why are those professions ahead of us in a game that, uh, that, we're, that we're in? And I, and I want to challenge all the chiropractors on the line today. Take a look at your Medicare collection. Take a look at where your practice is going. See how many Medicare patients you guys are seeing. This isn't something that's going away. You're going to have to get fined for this if you're seeing Medicare or maybe you'll see more Medicare in the future and those fines are going to augment. This is an opportunity to augment your insurance collections at a very big level. And so I, I, this is it. This is the last little chunk of time that we have to get into this program. What I'd love to see is that chiropractors overtook podiatrists and optometrists and we became, a, we became you know, the next profession on the list, the next top profession on the list for being a part of this program and taking that money and bringing that money, bringing that stimulus money back into chiropractic. Because I know if we, if we took $223 million back into chiropractic, that's going to make a big impact into the profession. Now, this is, an, this is just kind of you know, some final thoughts here. People are thinking, hey, you know what, I don't know if I really want to do this for, for all three years. You know, maybe I just want to try it. I want to see if I like it. I want to see what it's really all about. I'm, I'm not adverse to getting an EHR system. You know, it's time to get off paper, but I don't really, I don't really know what, what this data is. I really want to take a look at it. This is your last big year for stimulus. The next two years, um, you know, those payments are smaller. But if you're seeing, you know, 10 Medicare patients or 15 Medicare patients or 20 Medicare patients, um, it's a big check this year. So jump into this program, put your toe in the water, and see how it feels. Because it's, participation isn't permanent. It's okay to start this program, do it one year, and then if you don't want to participate in it next year, you don't have to. But you've taken the biggest stimulus, check. You're still eligible for stimulus another year in 2016. And if you decide that it's really, it's really not that hard at all and you know, everything that people have been saying about it um, is true, guys that have gone through it, not a big deal, then you can continue on. And that's what's really great about this program is with the way that they've designed the stimulus is you can get a big check and, and then if you decide you don't want to do it the next year, no problem. If you decide you want to jump back in in 2016, that's great. But this is the last year to be eligible for any of that stimulus money. 
If you're down around four Medicare patients a week or five Medicare patients a week or six Medicare patients a week, your, your check's going to be a little bit more evened out over the next three years. So in 2015 and 2016, it might be the same. So for those docs, take the money. It's an aug Take a look at this program. It's a way to augment your insurance collections for one year. It's four grand. And if you don't like it, then you don't have to participate in it again. Chances are, once you get in, like most of all these other guys that we've taken through, they've seen what it's really all about. It's not that hard. It's most of the data that you're already collecting anyway. And it's, this is a chance to get a stimulus. This is a chance to offset all those costs. So here's the question. Some choices make themselves. If you act now, there's $24,000 on the table, up to $24,000, depending on how many patients you're seeing, Medicare patients. Wait. Don't take this program. You know you got the penalties. You already got them for this year. You haven't done this before. And you get zero stimulus for the rest of the program. You have to end up paying for EHR at some point and then you have the penalties on top of that. So this is an opportunity. If you get in this last year, you've made yourself eligible for stimulus over the next three years. This is the big check year. So if you're seeing you know, 10 plus, even nine, even eight, nine, 10 patients, you're gonna get the bigger check. If you're, if you're down like around four or five, six patients a week, no problem. This is still a way to pump up your collections for this year and make yourself eligible for the next three years. Okay, so if you guys haven't participated in this and you want to know when do I need to get started, it's now. It, you're late. This is the last little group of people that are going to get in. Um, this, these, are the, these are the folks that are going to be working uh, with us very closely so that we can get you ready. Um, these are the folks that already have 2015 penalties coming, so this is a way to offset. Um, if you're wondering, is this really your last chance? Can I do this next year? Nope, this is it. If you want stimulus money, now's the time. Um, you don't have to wait any longer. You don't have time to wait any longer. If you, if you don't get started now, um, you're probably not going to make it. And the sooner you start, the easier this will be for your office. Because if you wait closer to um, the, debt, but the last little group of deadlines there, you're going to really be in you know, a challenge for your practice. So you have time right now. Time's running out. The sooner you start, the easier it'll be. And you can get in this, and you can get you can get stimulus money. So let's just put this on a little, on a little timeline here, just to kind of understand what I mean. Um, if you're looking at your purchase here in August, you know you have to start reporting on 90 days. That means you have to be trained and, and ready to go live with your software uh, before October 1st. Uh, penalties were here. Um, if we continue on now, we're going to pretend like we're in 2015 here. So 2014, we know that reporting, and now we start here in 2015. This is when we need to submit by. So a test station means when we're going to a test that we've done the program. Um, it needs to be by the end of February, February 28th, 2015. And then you can expect to get your check to get paid at the very latest in May. So it's usually 90 days. Now, you don't have to wait to attest in February. You could attest in January. You could attest at the end of December. The sooner you attest, the sooner you get paid. So if you attest earlier, you want your money earlier, you can get paid you know, as soon as March or April. So this is a way to transition, train, plan, and prepare for participating in this program. And this is kind of what it looks like. You're, you're on the last little group here. The longer you wait, the more training time you sacrifice. So if you make this decision in September, um, you know, you're, you're not going to really have any time to train. You're going to have to just learn how to do everything at once. If you get started now, you're going to have that time. And the sooner you get started, the sooner, um, the sooner you'll get ready, the more successful you'll be. All right, let's transition and let's, and let's wind down here a little bit about the software. What, why is ChiroTouch the leader? Why is ChiroTouch taking more offices through this? What's in the software that makes it easy? Um, look, there's tons of reasons to get EHR. This is going to automate a lot of the processes in your office. This is going to eliminate redundancies. This is going to let your staff build relationships with your patients rather than try to manage paper and paper processes. So there's a lot of reasons why, before this program even started, people were buying software. That's why ChiroTouch has been in business for almost 14 years now. This is why ChiroTouch has more offices running ChiroTouch software for chiropractic than any other software that's out there. But in terms of EHR, for the portion of this that you need to do for the CMS stimulus program, this is what we're talking about. This is what we have right here, which is a dashboard 
which gives you that visualization of, of each of the measures, each of the data. Um, I mentioned earlier you're excluded from certain measures because you're chiropractor, so you're not going to be doing medication orders, you're not going to be doing e-prescribing. The problem list here, this is diagnoses, you're already putting that data in. Um, recording demographics, you're already recording demographics from your patients, especially if you're marketing to them. Um, so there's you know measures in here that you're already doing. There's some new ones in here that maybe you have it. So maybe you don't record uh, you know the patient's heart rate. So vital signs, maybe that's something new to you. That's not going to take that long. Maybe it's recording smoking status. Uh, you know just you, it's on your intake form that ChiroTouch has made, or you know just ask the patient their smoking status. So it it streamlines all this for you. It automates it for you. It plugs it into the software for you, and then it gives you a visual representation. What you want to do on the screen when you look at it, you just want to see green. You don't want to see any yellow. You don't want to see any red. Um, this is You just want to see green. And this just helps you get there because it shows you which patients you might be missing or it helps you get this information in quicker than having to look through a bunch of patient records. Another, another piece in here. This is another thing. This is something that no other software in the profession has, which are the EHR wizards. Wizards are going to help you do the stimulus even easier than the dashboard because what this, the wizards are going to do is it's going to search out and it's going to look for information that might be missing for you. So doctors, you're not, going to be ha you're not going to always be responsible for putting this data in because you're spending patient time with the patients in the back. Staff is going to be just as capable of grabbing some of this information when the patient's checking in or when the patient's checking out. So all you need to do is just ask the patient a question, pop it in here if you see that there's something missing. And the wizards are going to make it really easy for you. There's a wizard here for these measures. It's going to tell you if you're missing something. It's alerting you. You pop it in, and you're done. All right, and then the last thing here, EHR made easy. Um, we have an online EHR center and live help desk. Look, this is what gets people through is when they have questions. Uh, we have our own help desk just for EHR. We have our own portal just for EHR to make sure that you guys are successful through this. We're supporting you and training you on this program. This data that you're putting in, a lot of this data is data that you already collect. A lot of this data that you're putting in, you only put it in one time for the entire reporting period. So it's not that much data. It's, it's not that much complication. Uh, but when you do have questions and you're looking at something that you're not familiar with, you can get back here to the EHR Center. We have we built that. We've made it easy for you to, to be a part of this. Okay, so where can you guys find more information? Um, where can you look into this? If you want to go into CMS's website, um, you can go through there. You can take a look at the measures. You can take a look at all the information that they provide. If you want to get a more chiropractic center view of this, um, this is something that you can get to through chirotouch.com. Um, we have our EHR training page. It's got all the news and updates and the resources. Um, it's all chiropractic centric information, so we just you know kind of filter out all the other um, all the other information from CMS, and we just make this chiropractic centric for you. Let's go ahead and uh, just close down here now. We're going to wind down. Um, so this is the call to action. This is really it. We've talked a lot on the webinar today about reasons to participate in this program. We've taken a look at common myths, things that people say. Um, you know, we know that those things haven't really panned out. Um, we know that no other software provides more for this program and has taken more through, power touch, and you need to make a decision. Are you going to get paid for EHR or are you going to pay for your EHR? Because that's, that's what we're really looking at right now. That's what it boils down to. This is your last chunk for stimulus. This is a way to augment those insurance claims for this year through Medicare. Um, if you don't do it, you're not eligible any longer, and penalties will kick in if you end up getting EHR to offset those penalties you won't receive any stimulus. We're going to make this easy for you. We're going to make this something that um, will get money back to your office. We've done it more than any other software that's out there. And what we've done, what we've decided to do at ChiroTouch is we take a look at all these numbers. We realize, wow, we're so far out in front of any other, any other chiropractic software provider. Um, we're going to guarantee that if you get ChiroTouch that we're going we're gonna to help you. You're going to follow our rules. We're going to help you get that stimulus money. So now, uh, for offices that buy it now, up until August 31st, we're going to guarantee it. Follow our rules. Do what we have asked you to do through the training modules. Sign up for the program by this date. 
and we're going to guarantee that you're going to get the stimulus or we'll give you your money back on the software. So that's our software guarantee. That's our call to action. We want you guys to get started now. There's no reason to wait until August 31st. Um, it's just going to be a little bit more difficult. But that's the call to action. So um, you get the guarantee, and um, we want you to avoid those penalties. We want you to be eligible for stimulus. We want you to augment your insurance claims. Um, for anyone that watched this webinar live today, the good news is there's special pricing for you. So here's my contact information. Uh, we're serious about this. We want to get you going because so many people have talked about it and they, they haven't decided to move forward. We saw that in the big numbers for chiropractic, 13,000 providers. There's more out there. I know there's more providers out there that are seeing even four Medicare patients a week. You can get eligible for this. You can augment those claims. Um, you can give me a call, and we'll get you special pricing so that we can get you going. You're going to get the EHR version of the software, and we'll help you make sure that you're guaranteed to get that stimulus cash. All right, with that being said, let me turn it back over to iMatrix. And let's jump in and let's close this webinar down. I appreciate everybody that was on the line today with me. And uh, anyone that watches this um, outside of, of live, that's great, too. I appreciate you guys taking, taking the time to, to come in today. Um, iMatrix, are you there? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. That was a great presentation. And hopefully everyone reaches out to David and uh, Cairo Touch to, to take advantage of this um, while you still can. It's very, very important. Uh, so what we wanted to go ahead and do is if anyone has any kind of uh, questions, feel free to uh, go ahead and shoot them on over to uh, the question and answer module. We'll go ahead and um, kind of go through them one by one. And again, if you don't have any questions at this very moment, feel free to go ahead and contact David at his uh, contact info. You can also contact us at imatrix.com or chiromatrix.com or just give us a call at 1-800-IMATRIX and uh, we'll go ahead and redirect you uh, towards ChiroTouch if, if you need to as well. So. Um, while we're kind of waiting around for some, some questions to kind of flow through, is there anything uh, else that you know that, that kind of comes up that people have certain questions on? Um, that's probably one of the most common asked questions uh, for you. Yeah, that's a, great, that's, a great, uh, that's a great question. What we have right here is uh, this is just a calculator. You know, I was kind of talking about before. You know, people, people think, hey, you know what, I'm just not really seeing that many, that many patients. So, you know, if you plug in, like, let's see, five patients a week, you know, you're at 13.7 thousand dollars over four over three years excuse me so you're almost five thousand dollars for your first check um, if you're seeing six patients a week you're at you're at fifteen point seven so you have almost six thousand dollars coming to you in 2014 and if we go up you know people say I don't really see that much Medicare I see ten patients a week well ten, ten patients a week is twenty one thousand and in in stimulus and your first check is nine point seven thousand um, you know that's pretty much your software right there. So, you know you can you can offset this. The reason to get ChiroTouch and to get EHR isn't simply for this program. It's because you want to be able to take that that next step with your practice. The technology that we have, just like with ChiroMatrix, we're helping you guys get new patients. We're helping you guys um, find that return on investment, streamline the office, be more compliant with notes, uh, make it easy for patients to refer you because they see that your office is up to date with technology. So I know that Chiromatrix has a big piece of that, so does so does ChiroTouch with the EHR. And this money is going to help you um, this money is going to help offset all those costs. Perfect. Awesome. Well it looks like we don't have really any any other questions here. Um, unless there's anything else that you wanted to add on to that as well. Um, hopefully that means that everyone got everything they needed out of the presentation. Everything was answered already. So um, again, feel free to give us a call, um, give ChiroTouch a call. Uh, do implore you to do so uh, before time runs out, as well as you know any kind of uh, questions that you might have after the webinar. Again, we'll send this out to anyone that did attend and anyone that you know didn't get a chance to attend. As long as they registered, uh, we'll actually send out an email to you guys to, uh, to view this at a later time. Um, so again, I want to thank you uh, to ChiroTouch. I want to thank uh, David especially for presenting. Um, wonderful webinar, wonderful presentation. And again, we do hope that you guys do take advantage of this uh, before time runs out. And I just want to say thank you again for attending today and hope you guys have a wonderful day. All right. Thanks, everybody.